To be honest with you guys, I really thought about not having a geocaching vlogger Christmas special this year. I mean, why should I? Other people don't put out more than one. Last year, I put out a Christmas special in 2016. Why should I have to do another one? Charlie Brown didn't put out another one. Frosty the Snowman, he only put one out and people watch it every single year. Why should I have to do another one? I mean, even this guy, even this guy right here, he only put out one Christmas special. <laughs> Just kidding guys, I am here. I'm prepared to bring you some joy. Not just geocaching joy, but geocaching Christmas joy. And I came dressed appropriate. Geocaching vlogger t-shirt. This video is going to be longer. It is gonna be filled with geocaching and maybe some surprises along the way. Who knows? But let's not talk anymore. Let's get going. Let's go somewhere warm. Somewhere where people know us. Somewhere where I can be plugged into the social pipeline. I'm talking a little place called Florida. Silver bells, silver bells, it's almost Christmas time! Siri, what is the temperature? It's about 89 degrees outside. Hot. Hot? 89 degrees at Christmas? What? And I'm here in sunny Florida. Hot. Hot. Sunny Florida. And I'm finding some of the most epic geocaches around! They're the best around! I am finding caches by Cash Medics, one of the most prolific hiders in the country. I'm gonna say the country, that's what I'm gonna say. And we're gonna find a cache that is Christmas themed. This one's supposed to be a good one. Let's go find it. How far are we away? We're 350 feet away. We're in the jungle. Welcome to the jungle! And I'm not seeing anything very Christmassy right now. There's some trash around here. Oh look, a pair of shoes. Maybe that's somebody's stockings for Christmas. No, it's not. Take me to the cache, cache Lee. 24 feet? <laughs> you guys, I found it. There is a gigantic cache in the middle of this woods forest. CFSC substation. Ooh, and look. It's locked up. All right, let's open this up. Hopefully it puts me in the holiday spirit. Oh my goodness, I think I found Santa's workshop. There's some blank cards. What's this? These are like Christmas cards, guys. People put their Christmas cards in here. We got a Christmas tree. We got an area for swag. Look at all the fun swag, guys. Oh, this is the best swag of them all. A Smurf. Oh, somebody put their wooden nickel in here. I like to collect those. Okay, I think I found the cutest part of the cash. You can either sign the naughty list or you can sign the nice list. Hmm, let's see, have I been naughty or have I been nice this year? You think? You think I've been nice? I think, I think I've been pretty nice. They didn't see this. It says flip the switch. Oh. <laughs> this is such a cool cash. Let's sing along with the cash, shall we? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! Wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! 
All right, friends, I was just watching the news. And I noticed that somebody had a very unique Christmas display in their front yard. And I thought, oh my gosh, I gotta get up to the North Metro and I gotta check out this Christmas display. And you know, the great thing about geocaching is that there's geocaches anywhere. So let's see a little Christmas display in front of somebody's house and also find a cache. Oh my gosh, guys. I just pulled up to the house with the decorations. Oh my gosh, I am so glad. I am so glad I came here. You guys, I can't wait. I can't wait to turn this camera around. Check this out. Merry Christmas! Oh my gosh! Giant inflatables! There's Rudolph! There's a Viking football player! There's a gigantic Santa! Petting a reindeer! Look at this! Look at the front yard! You can't even see the house! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, it's Nemo, Chewbacca. Three days till Christmas, people. Unbelievable. This thing it is, I mean, literally, it is breathtaking. It's fantastic. How sure does look swell, Clark. What? M Matt? Matt from Matt's Rad Show? I hope you didn't go about doing all this on my part there, Clark. <laughs> It's Matt from Matt's Rad Show! Hey everybody! <laughs> he just randomly showed up! Can you believe this, Matt? You! Can you believe it? Sure does. Put you in the Christmas spirit. You, it does! There are like a hundred inflatables! This yard spirit of the Griswold family Christmas. <laughs> so for my Christmas special, I really wanted a, like a special guest. And Lady Gaga was all lined up and she's she, booked. She canceled. She canceled. So I decided, instead, let's have Matt from Matt's Rad Show. <laughs> Matt, everybody. Man, one of my favorite episodes was when we did some exploring this summer. That was fun. That was so much fun. And we I got to be- We went to the sculpture park. Yes, we did. We found a few. We found a lot of geocaches that yeah, day. Yeah, it was fantastic. <laughs> Good time. And so Lady Gaga was booked, so I was thinking, who's the next best special guest? Matt, of course. I got moves like Gaga. Bes besides, most of you would rather see Matt than Lady Gaga anyway. Some of these uh, inflatables are interactive. Look at that. There's an outhouse. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Aw, Santa took a poo. <laughs> can't think of anything more festive. R2-D2 and 3-CPO? These are not the inflatables I'm looking for. You wanna play hide and seek, Josh? Ready, go. <laughs> We're gonna play hide and seek. I gotta find Matt. Where is Matt? Found you! No, no you didn't find me. <laughs> These are the cutest inflatables yet! Hi. Hi. Matt, just so we can get to scale how big Rudolph is, check this out. I'm seven foot eight. So. Yeah, Matt, he's seven, seven foot eight. Seven foot eight. <laughs> that makes this is about 50 feet. I reckon. All right, Matt. Yeah. You're hanging out with me. Yeah. That means it's a Christmas special, but it's a geocaching Christmas special. Of course it is. There's literally a geocache 100 feet from this house. Geocache mode on. Let's go find it. <laughs> All right, Matt. So there is Christmas Wonderland. That dot is where we are. Okay. That's the geocache. So it's about, it's about one click up ahead here, I reckon. Yeah, one click. Let's go. As, you know, if, if Rudolph was looking for this right now, it would be about, you know, one leap, one, one Christmas bound, one holiday spirit scruffle. <laughs> Where's the, your red nose? To the GOK. Well, let me out here for a little bit longer and it'll be red. Matt! Yeah? I've been searching and, dude, you spotted it before me. You found it before me! It's the spirit of Christmas that did it. <gasps> it was the sweater mixed with the hat. And the skills that Josh taught me to find this Jew cash. I can't believe I found it. 
before you. I just say it's a Christmas miracle. The Padawan learner has become strong. Mm. Joy to the, the world, world, the Lord has come. <laughs> there it is. It's like a Christmas ornament. Grab that bad boy. Okay. You deserve it. You put your name on that first. If you find it, you put your name first. Really? That's the rules. Uh, Somebody help me now. So Matt, you know yes. that this year I went to Astoria, Oregon, where yeah. where The Goonies was filmed, and I know it's on your bucket list yeah. for somewhere to visit. Yeah. So when I went there, I picked up a little 30th anniversary. The, these they gave these oh. to people. They gave these to people that visited for the 30th anniversary. It's like a little like Dude. brochure with like stories in it. It looks like a comic book. And so I'm giving it to you because I want to give you good Christmas vibes that maybe this coming year, 2018, is the year you, you get to go to Astoria. I love you, man. I love you so much. This guy is the best. You're gonna live with me now. You're gonna live with me now. <laughs> So one of the hallmarks of the season is gift giving, gift exchanging. And you guys, just right now, out my front doorstep, I got my very first present of the season. I have got together with Geocaching Katie. If you don't know what Geocaching Katie is, she is a geocaching YouTuber, vlogger as well, and she does amazing, awesome videos. We decided to contact each other and we're like, hey, how about if we do a little geocaching vlogger gift exchange? So I sent her a gift in the mail and she sent me a gift in the mail. And if you wanna see what I sent her, make sure you check out her channel. The video will be in the description below. But I thought it'd be fun as a part of the Geocaching Vlogger Christmas Special, if I would open up this gift for you right now. All right, I have my knife in hand, and honestly, I have no idea what to expect. All I have to expect is some sort of geocaching goodness somehow, I don't know, let's see. First thing I see is bubble wrap. Is it what I think it is? Listen to this. It's metally. Are you kidding me? Oh my, oh! Katie, you have outdone yourself. Thank you so much. It's a geocaching vlogger ammo can with my logo on it. This is so nice. This took a lot of work. And there's there's stuff in it too. So right now, let me just see. Just the ammo can in itself is an amazing gift. How thoughtful. You guys, it's like finding a geocache. I actually get to open up this and see what's inside of it. <laughs> oh my God. Sometimes you guys that watch my videos, you always give me a hard time that I don't show you the swag. I'm gonna show you all the swag in here. Airplane toy. Oh, cute little dude. You guys, that's really thoughtful. It is a 32 gig memory card for my camera. We got flounder. We got a rubber duck, devil. Check out the sweet shades. It even matches my geoclashing vlogger shirt. It's a little painted rock with a bunch of eyeballs on it. I'm watching you. That's cool, I'm gonna name it Seymour. Oh my gosh, she really outdid herself. Look at this super nice geocache. Look at a reindeer trackable, a Georgia Geocaching Association path tag. And seriously, what's a geocache without a logbook? It's a little Christmas letter. Joshua, Merry Christmas. Now before you say anything, I know this ammo can doesn't have the greatest camo, but it could be a fun cache to hide deep in the woods somewhere or keep a storage because my art skills are a bit rough. No, they're not. Anyways, I hope you enjoy these containers and maybe they could help you with a video one day if you're short on ideas. Happy caching to you and have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Geocaching, Katie. I'm really overwhelmed. This was so thoughtful, so kind, so useful. I love it. Katie, thank you so much. You guys, make sure you check out Katie's channel. I'll put it up in the eye in the sky. Merry Christmas, Katie. The Geo 
geocaching vlogger Christmas special be without playing a little bit of Munzee? We're at a Munzee Christmas event. Look at, I got my geocaching vlogger Christmas shirt. I got my friend Tim. Look at, Woo! Tim's here. You've seen him before. Yeah. We're here to play some Munzee. Yeah, super excited. Munzee Christmas edition. We're in Chaska. We're at the curling center. The very cool curling center. There's a giant Christmas tree over there. That's awesome. The world's largest mustache is right over there. Woo! You know guys, I like the world largest anything. So that's awesome. Let's do this. People, they do not mess around when it comes to Christmas trees here in Chaska. Look at that bad boy. That is huge. You can't even see the scale, how big it is. So Munzee has this monthly challenge where you have to get a video of finding a certain thing next to a physical Munzee. And this year, this December, you have to find a bell. So we got a fireman right here. Is there any bells nearby? Over, over, over there, Josh. What? I think it's over there. Oh, over there? Yeah, over there. Okay, let's see if we can find a bell. Tim, are you serious? There's a, there's a bell? Yes. Inside? The fireman, he told you. Yeah, he, oh yeah, the fireman told me. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, <gasps> yes. We found the bell, yeah. but we have to find a physical Munzee. Yes, we do. Near the bell. Yes. Let's find it. Go, go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, is there one right there? Right here. Oh yeah. You guys. Physical Munzee. Right physical there. Munzee. Christmas over there. The bell. The bell was right there. I got it. Hundred points for me. I don't know what it was. <laughs> When you play geolocation games, you find some of the best stuff, some of the biggest stuff in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in Chaska, Minnesota, home of the world's largest mustache. Woo! There it is. Tim, what are your what are your thoughts and feelings? Well, like, are yeah, you feeling inspired? I am because I, you can oh. see, I try to try to keep this stuff going, but man, I'm oh, nowhere gosh. near this. You have a red beard. I do. It's a red mustache. Get behind that thing! Get behind that thing! It's festive! Everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas and I am in a little town and I'm staying at a lodge and Across the street from the lodge there were a ton of Christmas decorations So sure enough I fired up my phone and I was checking is there a geocache over there because there's a ton of Christmas spirit over there And there's a geocache a double combo perfect for the geocaching vlogger Christmas special. I think Have a winter wonderland here. I'm right here with a nativity scene. We got the kings, we got a camel right here. Of course, we got baby Jesus right over here. Cool. I wonder if the geocache is hidden by baby Jesus. Maybe, possibly. Let's take a look. There it is. There's baby Jesus. I'm not quite sure why newborn baby Jesus. Look at that full head of hair. Look at that. Doesn't seem very realistic. Anyway. It's got a nice little blanket. No geocache. Put baby Jesus back. The geocache has brought me to this Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, it smells really good in here. It smells very pine solly. Anyway, um, I wonder if the geocache is hidden inside this Christmas tree. It would be a very good spot for it. 
Let's find you. Oh, geocache. Oh, geocache. How lovely are your camo tape containers? Geocache, geocache. Wouldn't it be cool if the geocache was like hidden in one of these light bulbs? I'm thinking it might not be the Christmas tree over there because we got some flagpoles right here with the little skirts on the bottom of them. Let's check them out. All right, guys, I hate to say it, but this pole here makes me feel like I want to reenact the scene from the Christmas story when he sticks his tongue to the pole and it gets stuck because I really wonder if it'll actually get stuck or is that just an urban legend? I'm scared. All right, I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for you and I'm doing it for Christmas. All right, here we go. Ready? It didn't stick. <laughs> Oh flagpole, oh flagpole, do you have, oh, 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 Merry Christmas everybody. Let's put the geocache right there. Oh, doesn't that look festive? You guys, we found it. Well, there you go. A really kind of simple hide here, but you know what? It took me to an awesome park with a lot of festive stuff. I've got this whole park to myself. How cool is that? Logbook, pencil, it's all here. All right, guys, there you have it for the Geocaching Vlogger Christmas special for this year. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a very special holiday. And no matter what you celebrate, just remember, Hold the ones you love closely, love yourself and love others because really guys, that's what it's all about. And I wanna just thank you for all of you that take time to watch our videos. It means so much to us. If you'd like to see last year's Christmas special, it'll be up in the link up here. And if you haven't subscribed to our videos, make sure you click subscribe right there. You don't wanna miss any of our adventures as we bring joy to the world. The Lord has come. Let earth receive her King.